Howdy, I'm John Richmond, and I'm the inventor of the Sluice Goose Gold Drop, gold and pay dirt separating processor. Today's video is an experiment of mine to separate 400 mesh from similarly crushed black sand ore. So what I have here is one ounce of 300 to 400 mesh tungsten powder. Now tungsten weighs 19.25 grams per cubic centimeter. Very similar to gold which weighs 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. So we're basically 0 0.05 grams of density between the two materials. So kind of a up close, this is uh, what the tungsten looks like spread out 300 to 400 mesh. So let me get up here a little closer and you can see how dusty that is. Pretty small material. So, and, and this uh, tungsten is pretty much embedded in the paper. I can shake it all over the place and it doesn't move. It's so dense and in the pores of the paper. So now I will take this one ounce of tungsten powder and I will add it to three pounds. Move over here. of this black sand dirt to give you an idea what it looks like this is 200 to 500 mesh material very very fine powder And on top of that, this is black sand and just loaded with magnetite. Pretty dense with magnetic material, hematite. So I'll uh, add this. Oops. Tungsten powder to this dirt. And we'll just kind of mix it up here. And we'll process this material through the gold drop and see what 400 mesh tungsten drops into the jar. To start processing, I set the drop water flow meter at 0.25 gallons per minute. That's one quart of vertical flow through the trap to start. So that'll give us a good indication of where we'll be setting the actual setting. So now we'll go ahead and introduce some of the painter which I have added water to to fluidize. So I'll add some in here to start the process and see what happens. Okay, here comes the dirt. Now you can see it's all being tossed around there. So basically, what we're looking for now is we're gonna reduce. Okay, here's our elutriation now. The dirt is coming down into the chamber. 
So we'll drop the flow. Well, first off, actually, we'll set the spin, which is right here. Let's see if I can get close up here. So we're going to watch what's going to happen in the trap as I turn on the spin water. So all I want is just a little tiny vertical flow. So you can see all the material has got a, a downward movement towards the aperture. So I'm going to back off a little bit just to kind of slow it down a little bit just to have as little water flow in there as possible. But still have good movement. So we'll just leave it right there. Okay, so now we'll back off and we'll check our elutriation now. Now we'll set our drop water and allow more of that dirt to drop down. Here, let's get a little closer down so we can watch it come down a little farther. There we go. I'm thinking that's about good. You can see there's where the water is coming in. So we're getting to have the heavier material drop right down to where the water inlet is to the drop water. So that looks pretty good. So this now the final setting is just above 0.1 gallons a minute. Basically about a cup of water vertically flowing into the trap supporting the dirt. And that's the action that we have. So you can see we only put in a little amount of dirt so there isn't very much in the tube you can actually see the feed tube still and all of the dirt is just basically down here gathered in the trap that's how little material that I've added so now that we got that set we'll go ahead and start processing dirt through the funnel we'll now begin to feed the material through
processing is finished. Now I have waited uh, five minutes for the entire trap contents to drop into the jar. So basically the trap is empty, the column is empty, everything now is emptied into the jar. So now we'll find out what tungsten is in the jar. Here's our jar the concentrates from the gold drop. From three pounds down to a half a jar and let's see what's in it. Boy, it's pretty thick stuff. It doesn't want to come out of the jar. Ah, come on. Pretty mucky stuff. Here we go. Well, there's the gray carbide, the gray tungsten there at the at the bottom. Well, there's the tungsten. Get this more cleaned up here. Looks like there's quite a bit there. Well, nothing spilling over the end yet, so we'll keep going with the black sand. Well, you can see there's quite a bit of tungsten there. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and finish cleaning out the what little black sand is there. I'll get that finally clean so we can get a final way. Okay, the tungsten's all dry now, and it's been about 10 minutes since I've dried it, so the pan is, is cool enough to handle. So now we'll Kind of scoop this off here. Come to this uh, piece of paper. Okay, let me sure I get it all here. Okay, there is the tungsten that we recovered in the gold drop. It's pretty clean too. Let me get you up close to that.
So there's the tungsten there. So let's weigh it up and see how much of a recovery that I really got here. Okay, so I turn the scale on here. Zero it out. Put the pan on there. Zero that. Okay, let's get a little closer so I can really see what's going on here. Oops. Well, that'll give you a good idea of what's happening. Okay, now let's go ahead and put in the tungsten. Now remember, we started with one ounce. So, any number you see is actually going to be a percentage. So let's see what we got. 68% recovery, 400, 300 to 400 mesh tungsten out of three pounds of crushed black sand hematite ore. I would say that is a pretty good rate of recovery for three to 400 mesh. So, well, there you have it. 68% recovery of three to 400 mesh tungsten. Now, the weight of that tungsten is close enough to gold to say that the gold drop is 68% efficient at recovering three to 400 mesh gold. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching and thanks for being interested.